Hi everybody! Today will be a very special video because I will be talking about my Japan haul! Yay! Um, I'm a little bit nervous about making this video because I've never done a video in which I talk in front of the camera and English is not my first language so please bear with me if I make mistakes. I also might change accents once in a while because you never know what happens so sorry in advance. I've never done a whole video before because I kind of felt like it was bragging, like oh look at me, look at my stuff. However, I really enjoy other people's whole videos and I never felt like they were bragging. So when people expressed interest in a whole video, I decided to just go for it. So I hope you'll enjoy it. Together with my mom, I traveled around Japan for two weeks and we visited four cities. We started in Osaka, then Hiroshima, then Kyoto, and then finally Tokyo. And I bought things in all four cities, and I will be showing you them in order of buying. Um, I mainly bought a lot of really small stuff, like um, accessories or decoden items. So I decided to not show you every single thing I bought. Um, Instead, I will be showing you the most important things. However, this video will probably still be very long, so sorry about that. So we will be starting with Osaka. The very, very first thing I bought in Osaka were these two keychain plushies at the Osaka Aquarium, also called Kayukan. Uh, one is a ray, the other one is a seal, and they were my very favorite animals in the aquarium. So I had to buy their kawaii equivalent keychain because they're really really so cute. The ray even has a little face on the on the other side like a real ray does and the um, seal kind of reminds me of a Disney Tum Tum. It's really fat and rolled and it's really really cute so I really wanted to get them. I also bought in a random Sanrio store which I walked into this uh, my Melody headband, it's really really cute with the ears and the big bow on top and it was really such a random store I walked into but I fell in love with it so I had to get it and I hope I can combine it with a really sweet Lolita outfit. Um, it's really so so cute. One of my absolute favorite stores during our holiday was the Disney store. Um, the Japanese Disney store really has the most amazing things, especially for um, sweet and cute loving people like me. Um, yeah, I, I, I went to several Disney stores, but the Osaka one was of course the first one I went to. And one of the first things I bought was this Angelic Pretty uh, Disney collaboration parka. It was from the Rapunzel collaboration with, with a very favorite, no, very popular dress. And they didn't have the dress, however, they did have the parka on sale. So I was really, really lucky because I really like the parka actually from this collection. I really like that the hood has the print inside, it has a really cute pink bow on the front, it has a Rapunzel logo, and it's really the typical Angelic Pretty parka style with the lace around the around the zipper and it's really cute for casual wear. I really like it. I feel really lucky that I found this actually and also on sale it was 50% off. So that was really really nice. I also got some of the matching jewelry which I also really like from this collection. It's the two Rapunzel rings. One has a, a picture of Rapunzel with some rhinestones around it. The other one has this small cute dangly, I don't know, chain. Um, I really liked this collection when I saw it on the internet, but I didn't get anything from it myself, so finding it in the Disney store also on sale was really, really cool. Another thing I got at the Disney store in Osaka were these really cute rings. They had a special um, offer where you could get two plus one for free. Um, I f fell really in love with the crown one, this one, and the other two are really cute as well. One has a swimming... Uh, Ariel with this shell. The other one has Tinkerbell on it and they are really sweet and I hope to wear them soon. Another thing I bought in the Disney store are these really beautiful earrings. They are a Little Mermaid themed and they have a shell on it and a starfish and a little dangly Ariel in the middle. 
I don't know why, but I've been really obsessed with shells lately. So anything that contains shells is instant love for me. And these are really, really pretty, really sparkly, and I really like them. Another thing I got, again, at the Disney store was another collaboration of a Lolita brand with uh, Disney. I really love collaborations. I wish we would do that in Western countries. Um, it is this hood thing. I don't know what you call it. A capelet? A cape? I don't know. It's from the Baby the Starshine Bright collection for Alice in Wonderland, I think. Um, the dress was, the, the skirt, I mean, was really nice. The blouse was really nice as well, but this thing really got me so in love. Um, it's really, really fluffy, you can see it here, oh. it has uh, bunny ears with cute bows on it, the print is in the hood again, and it has two small pom-poms attached to it with a red bow again, and um, when I saw it I fell in love with it and the shop girl let me try it on, which was slightly awkward but also really fun. And it's just so soft and snuggly and I hope to wear it in winter with some Lolita outfits soon. The next purchase I will be showing you literally is a dream come true because I've dreamt of buying this dress. It is the Crystal Dream Carnival Premium Set. Um, I won't say I dreamt literally of this dress but I did dream about buying Crystal Dream Carnival in a shape or form of dark blue. And when I saw this dress, I literally started crying because I was so happy I found it. It is a really, really beautiful dress. Uh, I've loved it for a very long time, especially after I tried my friend's uh, version of this one on, of the one piece. Um, I really love the print. It's such a gorgeous print with the um, Pegasus, I think you would call it, with the sparkly gold and the night sky with the stars and the crystal. Pillars. The lace on this dress has crowns in it instead of the ponies on the normal version of this dress. Um, it has corset lacing on the front, which is really, really pretty, and it has little crystals on the bow. The back is fully shared, so it's also a really comfortable dress, and it has sparkly stars for buttons. And luckily, it came with the head bow. So it also has uh, crystals on it and it's really cute and kind of casual because it's a side bow, it's not really big, so that's really nice. And it also came with the matching socks. I'm not quite sure how matching they really are because the color seems kind of off in some lightings. So I will just try them on and see what they fit. The print on this sock is also really beautiful with the matching gold and in this case unicorns but um, I'm completely in love with this set. I'm so, so happy I got it. Um, after I got this, I was glowing. I was so, so happy. It also looks really nice on me, which is something I usually don't say. So I really can't express how happy I am I got this dress. While in Japan, I really fell in love with the Gashapon machines. So you put in coins and then you get one of these thingies here. I didn't really pull as much of these as I wanted to, however, I did get this one. I will try and open it for you. It is from the Sailor Moon keychain thingies. I'm not really a Sailor Moon fan per se, but these were just so really, really cute. I um, tried this machine twice and I got this one twice, so I will be sending it to one of my friends as a gift. I got to visit the Angelic Pretty store in Osaka, which is, in my personal humble opinion, the prettiest store of all because it's in the street, so it's not in a it's called shopping mall. So you can actually walk past it and it has a really, really pink storefront and it's really inviting to go in. And I, um, during my trip, I got to visit five Angelic Pretties in total. Yes, that's really five Angelic Pretties. Um, this was the first one and it's still my favorite, I think, and um, I decided to buy something in every Angelic Pretty store and for this trip I got this shell necklace. Hey, a shell, how surprising. Um, I really like this necklace ever since I saw it on the internet. 
and when I saw it in store I was like yes I need to get this so um, it's really really big this, this is my hand this is the necklace it's really big and it's really kind of tacky with the star and the big angelic pretty on it but it's also really cool I really love it and with the chain like this it's really 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 nice I also bought this necklace it is a cat even though I am more of a dog person I really love this necklace it has shiny pearls here it has a cat on it with bows and sparkly eyes and it's wearing a bonnet I mean can you go wrong? This is actually a bit of a weird story. This is a present for my mom, believe it or not. Um, my mom is a really supportive Lolita mom. And when she saw this necklace uh, together with me, we both fell in love with these eyes. I mean, come on, they're really cute. So I decided to get it for her as a present and she really, really loves it. And I can borrow it whenever I want, so that's a double win. I also visited the Baby the Star Shine Brides shop in Osaka briefly. The poor girls were there all alone, there were no customers, so I felt a bit awkward there. Uh, I did get something there, they had a gashapon machine and I drew these small buttons. I really love buttons, so I couldn't get this opportunity past me. They are really small, one of them has a mermaid on it, the second has florals and the third one has a theater on it, I think, it's a bit strange. But it's really nice and apparently they are Kyoto and Osaka exclusive, so that was a really nice small purchase. Another item I bought in Osaka was this fake pancake keychain. There was a store that was filled with all kinds of weird souvenirs and they had a whole department of fake foods. And I just decided to get a pancake because we once had pancake for dessert. And it looks cute. The next city we visited was Hiroshima, which is a city I didn't really buy that much because we mainly went there to visit the Memorial Peace Park about the atomic bomb and we also visited the island of Miyajima, which was a really big dream of mine. However, we did visit the Angelic Pretty shop there, which was a really nice shop in the, I believe it was the Sun Mall or something. Uh, the girl working there was really nice, she had really pretty pink hair and we had a discussion about tea parties and I showed her a picture of me in the, I believe it was a spoon issue or something, it was really nice. And I bought this necklace there, no, which was on sale and it's actually a necklace I always really liked, I really wanted it, however I never got it. So when I saw it there, I was really happy about it because they also had a pink version but to me it's more of a really disgusting kind of pink and this one is my favorite from this line so I'm really happy I got it. It's a bit more mature which I really like and it has like, it's like an, what's it called, a stamp. Maybe that's not the right word for it. Well anyway, it's really really pretty and it has a really pretty chain, please don't turn around. And it's like a really big pearl and it's a little bit tacky again but I really like it so... I'm happy I got to buy it there. Another item I bought while being in Hiroshima was this keychain. It is of the Tori at Miyajima with a deer underneath it. Um, the city of Nara is mainly famous for its deer, but actually on Miyajima there are a lot of deer as well. One of them tried to eat my map, but they were really sweet nonetheless. And I really like to buy stupid keychains and use them for nothing, but I really like to buy them. So this is a really nice souvenir actually for me. Then we went on to Kyoto and um, immediately when we dropped our luggage off at the hotel we went on to the city of Nara, which is famous like I said for its deer. And we got to feed the deer there and it was a really nice experience. I didn't really buy anything there though, except for again a stupid keychain. It is a small deer with a little crystal around its neck and like I said I really like stupid souvenirs so I'm really happy with this one because it's a really cute deer actually. I got to visit the Angelic Pretty in Kyoto as well. Uh, this store has recently been opened I believe like the 21st of September or something so it's really new and the store was really really gorgeous. It was actually not like the really pink Angelic Pretty pink but it was more like this pink. The stores like uh, closets and the floor was really nice, very bright, dark pink. 
and the two girls working there were absolute darlings. They were really sweet and uh, they were really happy to hear Angelic Pre is my favorite brand and going to the tea parties and stuff. It was a really nice conversation and I bought something really, really nice there. Actually, it was, oh, sorry, this really nice bag. Um, at first I thought it was a perfume bottle, but it has a Drink Me tag on it from the um, Alice in Wonderland book. And if you take this off, I am sure it will still look like a perfume bottle, so that's okay. Um, I've seen it in other stores later, but in Kyoto it was the first time I saw it, so it was really special to me. And I really fell in love with it, so I decided to buy it. It has uh, pearls on the front and um, see-through rhinestones. It also has glitter. It's a really nice bag. It doesn't store much like we are used from Angelic Pretty bags. However, it's a really nice bag. I'm really, really in love with it. So I'm really happy I got to buy it. Unfortunately, I accidentally talked way too much. So I decided to split this whole video into two parts. Thank you for watching and please check out part two as well.